Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Viscount roller petrol lighter, very ornately embellished with a sort of cross-hatched diamond pattern really cool and really stands out with this high polish chrome finish I believe it is chrome this lighter has a lot of similarities to the Cygnus lighters including the flint tension thumb roller mechanism here which on the Viscount sits in the middle of the body of the lighter not mounted on the back like the Cygnus is and it's just sort of a free float design where it sets in that cutout which holds it in place for it to thread the flint carriage assembly. I have replaced the wick in this lighter. Replaced the wick and the wadding. You might have seen the video for that project. It does show scuffs, scratches, some minor dings. We've talked a lot in the past about different metals that lighters are made of and you guys know that I am no metals expert. But these roller lighters like this always draw a comparison for me with the Cygnus. This lighter seems to me to be considerably too heavy to be made out of aluminum and it is also obviously not a block lighter as we typically hear the aluminum constructed lighters being referred to as because they take just a solid piece of bar stock and drill it out. This lighter is not drilled out does show some seams like down here at the bottom so I think it is probably made of brass perhaps even some other kind of metal but my guess would be that this is a brass construction lighter. Definitely a little bit bigger than the Cygnus lighters. But no less functional. Really good lighters. This is about the third or fourth of these that I have had. And they've all been really good. It's an interesting flint tension mechanism here, like I said at the beginning. Just like you use your thumb rather than a tool with the Cygnus lighters. With these Viscount, you roll that back, which will release this spring, flint spring carriage unit which then just fits back into that channel and then is threaded up through there by that thumb roller that we mentioned at the beginning. Sometimes you have to kind of help them along, they'll get a little catch, but I haven't had any problems at all with this one. I missed on a store display for these Viscount lighters. I actually maybe have missed out on a couple of them recently. I believe there were 12 in the listing that I'm thinking of. And 12 different lighters. There were at least three or four different designs. I'm pretty sure there was at least one or two of this design in there. I don't believe I've had this design in my hands before. It's a really nice lighter though and the diamond cross hatching gives it some texture. Definitely not going to hurt your ability to grip the lighter when it comes to striking it. 
And while there are plenty of blemishes, scratches, scuffs, I did some cleaning underneath the hood of it, under the snuffer, and you can see where there is some charring. Some of that, a little bit of a black discoloration you can see there on the snuffer and the underneath side of it. The fuel screw is nothing extraordinary. It's a very small hole for a roller lighter to have by which you're going to fuel it and change the wick and all that. And if you saw the video of us re-wicking and re-wadding this lighter, you saw how that small hole created a little bit of difficulty in completing that project. Just uh, took much longer than what I would have thought what it typically takes me to empty a lighter of its wadding. Took a considerable amount of time on this one because that hole was so small. The wadding was not wanting to come out it very smooth without tearing. And that happens. It's unfortunate, but just part of the difficulty of doing this kind of work. Got a nice knurled file roller. The actual file wheel portion up here, the dark part on the top. The silver portion is just for you to spin that thing. The new wick seems to be functioning just fine. And these are some of my favorite lighters. I haven't had that many. And you guys know that I do consider myself a collector now. Although it is certain things that I collect. Not all of them for sure. Still trying to make a living here. And still need to make money on a regular basis. So the vast majority of the lighters that you see on this channel will eventually be sold. We're going to get an average of a couple of videos out of most lighters. Some form of repair, whether that be clearing a flint tube or replacing a wick. And then the regular show and tell. Occasionally you get all three. And then even still there are other lighters where there will be multiple projects on before we finally get around to making the show and tell video and selling the lighter and this one will most definitely be sold although if I did not have to make a living if I did not need to make money by selling old cigarette lighters this would definitely be one that I would be inclined to keep in my collection I just can't justify it I've got uh, over 20 Cygnus lighters that are in my personal collection now and I really enjoy those and that's sort of the one indulgence I've allowed myself. I have a few Zippos and other odds and ends personally themed lighters, lighters that are important to me for different reasons. But as far as just admiring a lighter and keeping it in my collection, it's not something that I do very often. But if I was going to, this would definitely be one of those I would like to keep. So keep your eyes out on the DependableFlame.com eBay store. Go to DependableFlame.com slash current eBay listings. All those eBay listings are facilitated right there through our website. And glad to have you stop over there at any time. Check them out. We get packages in the mail around here quickly. If you buy a lighter from me, it's going to be in the mail that same day, unless it's just extenuating circumstances. So get over there and see what you can find, what may interest you. Who knows, maybe this lighter right here is the one that you should buy. Until next time.